Okay, I just finished watching the What If Season 2 finale, and I gotta say, I was kinda disappointed. Overall, I gotta say, I really like this season. I think they improved in a lot of different areas compared to Season 1, especially the animation. It's just a little bit more crisper, a little bit more dynamic, and I just liked it a lot more. My favorite episode was probably the 1602 Avengers episode, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the finale for What If Season 2. So the main reason why I didn't really like it all that much is that we went back to Strange Supreme being a villain. And I thought we already went through this, you know, in season one. He was bad, and then the Watcher recruited him, he joined the Guardians of the Multiverse, and then he redeemed himself, and he realized that trying to bring Christine back was just not going to happen, and it would lead him down a dark path. And then they just redid the whole thing in the last episode of the season two finale, which I don't really think made a lot of sense. This episode did have some pretty cool stuff though, like we got Kahori and Captain Carter just super powered with a whole bunch of different weapons from different characters, and uh, you know, the animation was cool, the fight scenes were cool, but really the, the, the story in the finale just wasn't all that great. Like I said, we went back to Strange Supreme being a villain just for the finale of the season when there was nothing really leading up to that. And the entire episode really was just like a giant fight scene, and there was not really a lot of story to it, a lot of nuance, a lot of suspense, like, it was really just a whole bunch of characters throughout the multiverse just fighting against each other, and that was pretty much it. And then Marvel did the thing again, where they just make the characters just so overpowered for no reason. Like, we've got Captain Carter with, you know, uh, like, Hela's crown and the Infinity Stones and Kahori with uh, Mjolnir. It's, it's too much, you know? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's the same kind of thing that they did with Gaia in the Secret Invasion finale, and that's uh, one of the big reasons why people didn't like that finale, was just, you just throw all the powers at one character and just make them super OP, and then just giant fight scene, and then the episode's over, and that's pretty much what they did with the season 2 of What If finale. Like, don't get me wrong, it is cool, but not for a season finale. Like, if this was just one of the episodes, okay, yeah, sure, whatever, but... This was the finale of the season, and I would say everything leading up to it was actually pretty solid, and then they just did this in the finale. I think Strange Supreme would have made a lot more sense if he was the villain in the season 1 finale, because that's the season that he took that dark turn and everything, and I think, you know, culminating in him going bad and then sacrificing himself to bring back his universe, I think that would have been a better ending, and then maybe you could put Infinity Ultron as the villain of season 2 of What If? And I think that would have been a better villain for the multiversal heroes that we were uh, following along in Season 2, but to just bring Strange Supreme back for whatever reason and make him the big bad was just kind of disappointing for me and didn't really make a lot of sense because I thought he developed himself into a hero and for him to just go back to a villain for really no reason and out of nowhere just wasn't really satisfying. I'm going to give the finale for What If Season 2 a 5 out of 10. That just means it's average. It doesn't mean it's bad. But overall, I would say this season overall was probably a 7.5 out of 10. Every episode I thought was pretty much like a 7 or an 8, but then the finale just kind of fell apart. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 overall. But this episode, like I said, was a 5 out of 10. It was bang average. Let me know your thoughts about it down below.